filtering and recording. Thank you for using Global Telink. How are you? All right. What's going I'm sure, on? I'm sure you already know. Yeah, a little bit. Ron, you called Dylan, so. Yeah. So, I mean, whatever. I'm going to sue. So, um, we were doing a funeral escort, and I mean, I can tell you the whole backstory. You don't, I mean, you can either believe me or not. It's up to you. I don't care. So there was, a sergeant, there was a sergeant with the Orange County Sheriff's Office. I filed an internal event investigation and affairs with him, on him a long time ago. No. Uh, he knew who I was. He gave me a hard time back when we first started. He got chastised, got suspended. Long story short, I don't know what happened. I don't know why he left Orange County, but he left Orange County. He got a job at Windermere as a sergeant. <laughs> mm-hmm. So we're doing a funeral escort. We're doing the. We're at the roundabout right by the school there, um, and. I pull into the, uh, the escort's already going through. I pull into it, hit my air horn, not even the siren, just my air horn, because we already saw a Windermere police car on a traffic stop. So we all were behaving. So another unit pulls up, drives over the median, drives over the wrong way, and just sits there and looks at us. So we're all like, okay, well, we just move on. We keep going. We leave that roundabout. Do you know that area? Do you know where the roundabout is? Yeah, by the I know where the school okay. is, yeah. Uh-huh. We're already at the cemetery in Winter Garden, and they're coming, lights and sirens, opposite direction, racing up the road. Mm-hmm. Okay? They pass two patrol vehicles. They pass Recycle, Allen, and Stutters. They pass three of, four of my guys. Yeah. He comes up to the intersection. The funeral's already in it. I'm in this intersection right at the cemetery. Right. He hops out of the car. I don't know who it is at first. I don't know who it is. He hops out of the car, and as soon as I see him, he goes, hey, Jeremy Duet, how are you doing? I've missed you. I was like, oh, Sergeant, I missed you too. I haven't seen you with Orange County for a while because now we're bantering back and forth being dicks. Right. We know what time it is. And he's like, oh, yeah, well, you know, I've missed you, so I've been looking for you. That's exactly mm-hmm. what he fucking said on my body. And he's like, oh, I missed you, so I came and got a job here. That's exactly what he said on my body camera. Well, you know, I've missed you, so I've been looking for you. That's exactly mm-hmm. what he fucking said. Oh, I missed you, so I came and got a job here. That's exactly what he said on my body camera. On my body you have camera. the video? I yeah. do, on my well, it's in their possession. So if it gets deleted, then – but if it doesn't yeah. get deleted, I do have it. God is my witness. And he's like, you need to pull your motorcycle over and get out of the intersection. I was like, well, Sergeant, I said, I hear you. I said, I have a funeral going. I said, as you can clearly see, do me a favor. Just give me a few seconds, and I'll go ahead and move the bike. He's like, I need you to move your motorcycle now. And I was like, listen, Sergeant, unless you're going to put one of those patrol vehicles in this intersection to control my funeral, where there, because there was cars at the intersection right. waiting to go, I said, then I'll move for you. Not a problem. He's like, whatever. So he turns around, and he gets on the radio, and he's calling for backup. So – here come Allen, Recycle, Stutters, and the other unit. Four units, they drive by me with their lights on and their air horns going. He doesn't say anything to them. Right. The funeral goes by. I, he's like, okay, now move your bike. So I move my bike, park it, get off. And he's like, so he's like, uh, your motorcycle's stolen. I was like, what? what? My motorcycle's not fucking stolen. I have the registration right here on my phone. Before I could even touch my phone, he yanks my arms aggressively, and I have a very – I actually have a tear in my shoulder from the accident. Um, and he cuffed me and gave me to the other officer and said his motorcycle stolen. <laughs> they jam me against the car, and then they start stripping me of my gear. I'm telling, I'm telling the sergeant, I have the registration on my phone. What are you doing? This is still – I'm still wearing my helmet. My body camera is still rolling. And he's like, I don't care what you have. Your bike is stolen. At that point, I tell my units, get back here now with your body cameras on. Get back to the scene. So they come back. They get out of their vehicles, and they surround the scene with their body cameras on. The sergeant says, if you don't go away, I'm going to arrest you now. So he forces them to leave. They jam me on the car, and he's – He's questioning me about the motorcycle, saying it's stolen. I was like, Sergeant, I can prove to you it's not Sergeant. Every time he 
he asks me a question, I turn to talk to him, and then the other officer puts me back on the car. But then the sergeant thinks it's funny, and he keeps asking me questions, so I keep turning to talk to him. And then the guy pushes me on the car. Mm-hmm. So, so now they cuff me. Well, I'm already in the cuffs. They've stripped everything off me, my helmet and everything, okay? They say my motorcycle stolen. They shove me in the car, okay? About an hour goes by. They come back. You in the car there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because they towed my bike. They've already towed it. They They towed your bike. Oh, yeah. So, wait, it's better. They come to me and they say, oh, we're sorry. You're right. Your bike's not stolen. Florida called us back and said it's not. But you were resisting the police officer and were arresting you for resisting arrest. And I'm like, what? I never resisted arrest. You you pulled everything off of me, and I never pulled away from you. How did I resist arrest? They're like, you called back up for your officers, and you kept turning and talking to the sergeant. I was like, because he kept asking me questions. They're like, we're booking you for uh, resisting arrest. It gets better. They start taking all pictures of everything. And now they're charging me with impersonating a police officer. They said because I was standing in the intersection doing what I was doing in uniform, I was impersonating. No, wait, let me rephrase that. I should read what they said. They said because I was wearing a shirt with a badge-like and a helmet with a badge-like logo, I was impersonating a police officer. Mm -hmm. And, of course, I'm yelling, I've been doing this for 10 years. I've been dealing with Orange County, FHP, OPD, on and on. I said, I want your lieutenant now or a captain now. And he told me, I'm not giving you anything. I refuse. I was like, I want your supervisor now. They're refusing. So they, I just read the report, and they said that I pulled into the intersection, and then I went down the road, and they saw me cross the yellow line. So then they said they pulled me over. But that's not true. They pulled me over all the way down in Winter Garden's jurisdiction mm-hmm. by the cemetery, and it was mm-hmm. the sergeant that pulled me over, not this officer. The sergeant's name is right. nowhere on the report. And the sergeant's the one that made contact with me first and said he was looking for me. So, but his name's on the re- not on the report. Right. But he, correct, his name's not on the report. So he passed four of my officers and came directly to me. Right. And got out of the vehicle and said my name, and then said my yeah. motorcycle was stolen. When right. they told me that the officer stolen. left the, the the officer left the laptop open in the cruiser, and on the laptop screen it showed Kawasaki Concourse 1400 registered to Metro State Special Services owner Jeremy Duet, wow. but it didn't have stolen. Right. It had a valid know. registration. Who's your lawyer? Back to I'm that here. guy, right? Yeah. I'm here, yeah. So if my body camera disappears? Yeah, if it's, if it's been er- erased, you're right. Because I yeah. always videotape, and all the four guys, they videotape too. And again, for well, you they to have pass, some of it. They have some of for, it. Right. But for you to pass my officers that uh, are wearing they came the same up, thing. Right? Huh? They had it on. And then he threatened to arrest them if they didn't leave. Right. Why? Because he I mean, didn't want them on scene. Right. Right. And now you, and then, yeah. So here's the next That's part pretty, that you're not going to yeah. believe. Recycle called my cell phone, my other cell phone, because he thought, Ron, you might have it. And uh-huh. I, it was there on scene. One of the officers accidentally answered it and left it on accidentally. And the officers came together by my phone and Alan, Stutters, Recycle, and David all heard the conversation, and they all swear that they're going to write a statement. They all, the, the sergeant said, well, the bike's not really stolen, and we pulled him over, and now he's in custody in the back, so we got to come up with something and make something. Really? I swear to fucking God is my well, Christ and my witness. You need to get them to the lawyer tomorrow. No shit. On Monday. Yep. God. Recycle told Rania she's freaking out. That's crazy. So they heard everything on the phone, and they're all willing to write a statement saying that because Recycle put it on speakerphone and held it out so everyone could listen. Yep. And they said, we need to make something up. All of a sudden, that's when the uh, the resisting arrest came up first. And then they started like, oh, well, his badge is this, and his badge is that, and they started right, taking right, pictures. Yeah. Yeah. And then they said, oh, we're going to do that. 
So, so the next funny thing is this. So I just said to the officer, I was like, so wait a minute, I can't get my stuff back. He's like, no, your stuff's impounded okay. for evidence. I was like, oh, but my motorcycle's not. And he's like, no, you can pick that up anytime you want. So wait a minute. Right. I supposedly impersonate a police officer on my motorcycle in my ear, but you only held my uniform as evidence, but you let my motorcycle, which is the vehicle that I was conducing the escort on, you let, you're letting well, that go. Well, they because they said because it was they stolen know and then they backed down. Yeah. Right, because yeah. they know they're wrong. Yeah. And then they charged me, guess what else they charged me with? Resisting arrest, arrest uh, impersonating law enforcement officer, and using a two-way communication device. Yeah, what's that about? Using a radio, a radio? on the escort. Yeah. You can use a radio. That's no why you shit. Oh. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No shit. Are you getting out tonight? Huh? Are you getting out tonight? Yeah, Ron, you already paid bond. It was All only $400. Right. So, I mean, but the money's going to come in the – if the state doesn't just drop everything because Amir talks to them and they actually file, this is going to be expensive because I'm going to trial to the door. Yeah. Because – Unless they deleted my video camera, I have every piece of proof that I never pulled anyone over. But in the state you know, of Florida, you know, they might erase it. If they do, if they erase it, then that shows that they're guilty. But that doesn't mean that you'll win anything. Uh, I mean, if they handle the evidence, yeah. Mom, that's a huge no-no in the state of Florida. It is. It is. It is. And here's the thing. In the state of Florida, to impersonate a police officer... You have to have three things. One, you have to dress or act as if, which obviously dress the way we are. Then you have to have something on you that says police, sheriff, parole, corrections, probation okay. officer, state agent, you know, something like that. Then you have to make somebody do something, like pull them over, make, get, take their driver's license from you, get a discount, get a free, dis, free meal. So but it's obvious you were doing a funeral escort. You're in front of the even, cemetery. They even put that in the report. The best part is, is the whole impersonating thing. I'll read it to you. Here, listen. Do what? This is the only thing they have for the impersonating. Everything else is about the traffic, about the funeral escort, about how I went over a line. That's that's what everything says here. Yeah. But then it says, Do what was wearing a law enforcement motor officer similar apparel to include a shirt with a badge like a bulletproof vest and a helmet with a badge like that says motor officer written on it in plain view wearing a, a duty belt that's it okay. that's it that's that's what they're basing their impersonating law enforcement officer on there's nothing else in this report at all about me pulling anyone over, using a siren, pulling people out of the way, nothing. Yeah. Well, you know, unfortunately, they can arrest people all day long. That doesn't mean the prosecution is going to let them do anything with it. Right, but I demanded, it on a, I demanded a lieutenant because right. I said this sergeant has a history with me, has a right. bad history with me. I'm mm -hmm. demanding a lieutenant or a captain, somebody right. that outranks him or an equal sergeant that's in the area right. to go over this because this isn't right. I'm telling you, I have on my phone the registration, which verifies my bike's not stolen. Right, right. And 